Hey, hey everyone. You might have come across a formula in Excel called the concat formula or concatenate formula. And what this does is it combines a range of cells and puts it all into one cell. But what if we wanted to do a reverse concatenate formula where we take all the values from this one cell and create a list like that original one we had. So for example, this cell is all split up by commas. So if we use that comma in our formula and do a reverse concatenate, what it does is it brings back that original list. But you can see it's actually removed that delimiter, the comma. And sometimes we want to keep it, sometimes we want to get rid of it. So we can update that formula with the delimiter, with the comma, and sometimes have the comma or not have it. I'm going to show you how to do both. I'm going to do this very quickly, just so we don't drag the video on. So please just pause and rewind when you need to. Okay, so let's get started with our reverse concatenate formula. We'll scroll down and we'll start building it by using what's called the text split function. Equals text split. The text that we want to split up is in cell B18, comma. And what's our delimiter? Well, it's, it's all split up by a comma, so the delimiter is a comma. You can either reference a cell or you can type it in using double quotations, just like that, and press enter. Now you can see it's split up that particular cell into different cells, but it's done it horizontally, and we want to change it to a nice looking vertical list. So there's one other step you need to do. Go back into that formula and nest in what's called a transpose formula. Transpose, open brackets, close it all off with a bracket, and there's our list. But there's one last step you might see that's a little bit odd here, and that's it's got this space at the bottom. So there's another option in that text split formula where we can ignore empty cells. We're just going to go back into that formula and update that. So at the end of text split, after that last piece, we're going to type in comma again and it gives us that next option. Is there a row delimiter? No. So we're going to ignore that. Type in another comma. And the next option is, do we want to ignore empty cells? This is where we type in the true. Close the brackets. Press enter. And there we go. There's our list, nice and tidy. It split up that entire one cell. But don't forget, there was one last stage that we wanted to do, just in case you wanted to keep the delimiter, like the original list and what's exactly in that one cell. So it's just a slight change to the formula. So let's start building it again. Equals transpose, open the bracket, text split, open the bracket again. And what are we going to split? We're going to split the cell of B18, comma. We're going to split it by the common, the, the delimiter being the comma. We'll reference a cell this time instead of typing it in there. So J22, comma. There was no row delimiter, comma again. We want to ignore empty cells, so we'll type in true and close the brackets. But what we wanted to do was add that comma back in that was taken out by using this text split formula. So all we'll do at the end is do that ampersand sign and then reference that cell of J22 again, which is the comma. So you could have typed it again there with those double quotation marks or reference the cell. I'll close the brackets and press enter. And now you can see that the formula has included that comma like it was in the original list and that original cell. So that's a really handy formula. Hope you liked. Don't forget to subscribe or click that like button and we'll see you again next time.